This wind turbine doesn't spin. It doesn't roar. And yet it claims to quietly outperform solar panels by a wide margin. Meet Aeromine, a rooftop energy system that looks more like a sci-fi sculpture than a power generator. Designed to harness the invisible flow of air without moving parts on the surface, Aeromine promises up to 70% lower energy costs than traditional solar panels. But does it live up to the hype? Or is it yet another bold idea swept up in the green revolution? Let's dive into the science, the secrets, and the surprises behind this radical wind energy innovation. The Invisible Engine At first glance, Aeromine looks like an art installation. Curved panels standing upright on a rooftop, without any of the spinning blades you'd expect from a wind turbine. But this design isn't just for show. It hides a clever aerodynamic trick at its core. Instead of rotating blades, it uses the natural pressure differences caused by wind moving across its specially shaped aerofoils. When air flows past these curved panels, it creates low-pressure zones that suck in surrounding air. Just like when sipping from a straw. Hidden beneath the surface is a turbine. The airflow pulled through the system drives this concealed turbine to generate electricity. Its wind power, reimagined for the urban rooftop, no external blades, no tower, and fewer safety risks. Because the machinery is tucked away, there's less exposure to the elements, making it more durable over time. But the real magic is how it deals with wind from multiple angles. Even when the wind isn't head-on, Aeromine's pressure-based design still manages to work efficiently. It's a quiet revolution, harnessing air not by brute force, but by pressure and precision echoes of the ancient wind. While Aeromine feels futuristic, the idea behind it is surprisingly ancient. Thousands of years ago, architects in Iran designed wind catchers, tall towers that channeled desert breezes into homes for natural cooling. These towers didn't rely on fans or modern fans. Instead, they captured moving air and used pressure differences to draw cooler air from underground aqueducts into the living space. Aeromine taps into this same principle. It's a high-tech take on a low-tech idea. Instead of air for cooling, it pulls in wind to spin a turbine and generate power. And instead of stone towers, it uses precision-engineered aerofoils and modern materials. But the heart of it, the low-pressure draw, is the same. This connection to the past isn't just poetic. It shows that sometimes nature-inspired solutions that worked for millennia can be reimagined to solve today's energy challenges. It's a bold reminder that innovation doesn't always mean invention. Sometimes it's about taking the wisdom of old and re-engineering it with today's tools. But how well does this ancient idea, reborn on rooftops, really perform in modern conditions? Testing the hype. Aeromine's early test results caused a stir. After proving a basic concept in 2019, the team built a larger 3-meter-tall prototype and put it through rigorous wind tunnel testing in 2022. The results? Promising, if not perfect. While traditional turbines often lose power when wind shifts direction, Aeromine held steady. It managed consistent power output with wind angles up to 45 degrees from center, meaning it doesn't have to spin or reposition itself like conventional turbines. This stability comes from the Kawanda effect, a fluid dynamics principle where airflow sticks to curved surfaces. Aeromine's shape keeps air flowing smoothly, even as wind direction changes slightly. But once wind veers past that 45-degree mark, efficiency drops sharply. That's a problem in places where wind is more scattered or inconsistent. Engineers looked at local wind roses, circular charts that show common wind directions. In some regions, Aeromine performs great. In others, it could miss a big chunk of potential energy. Still, the system isn't about chasing the wind everywhere. It's about targeting rooftops where the airflow is predictable enough to work in its favor, measuring the energy output. So how much energy can Aeromine actually produce? The answer lies in something called efficiency, how much of the wind's energy is converted into electricity. For reference, the gold standard for turbines is the BETS limit at 59%. Most top-tier wind turbines reach around 50% under ideal conditions. Aeromine's best results? 
about 25% efficiency. That may sound low, but it's not the whole story. Traditional turbines are limited by the area their blades sweep through. Aeromine, on the other hand, can be built in modular arrays that capture wind across a broader rooftop space. So even if each unit is less efficient, the total power generated per square meter could still be competitive. Lab results showed an improvement from 18% to 25% efficiency as the design matured. And unlike spinning turbines that wear down over time, Aeromine has fewer exposed moving parts, possibly giving it a longer operational life with lower maintenance. But the biggest question remains, how does it stack up against solar in terms of cost? Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. Cheaper than so solar? Here's where Aero means boldest claim comes in. The company states that under the right conditions, their wind system can slash energy costs by up to 70% compared to industrial solar panels. That's a jaw-dropping figure. But what's the catch? Their claim relies on a metric called Levelized Cost of Energy, LCOE. Basically, how much it costs to generate each unit of electricity over the system's lifetime. Aeromine's internal data showed that at wind speeds just under 7 meters per second, common in the Midwest, the LCOE was significantly lower than that of solar. But there's a caveat. Those wind speeds are measured at 30 meters above ground, where wind flows faster and more smoothly. Rooftops don't get those kinds of speeds, especially in cities surrounded by buildings, trees, or terrain. And that changes the game. Lower wind speeds mean less power. Less power means higher costs. So while Aeromine's numbers might be technically correct, they rely on wind conditions that many rooftops can't offer. It's not deception, it's just optimistic benchmarking. Rough terrain and rooftop reality. Aeromine's Achilles heel is the very location it's built for, rooftops. Wind isn't just about speed, it's about consistency and surface roughness. Urban and suburban areas are filled with obstructions, trees, buildings, even slight elevation changes that all disrupt airflow. These disruptions reduce the effective wind speed, which in turn slashes energy output. According to wind maps, the average rooftop in a rural or semi-rural area might see about 4.2 meters per second of wind, not the 7 miller sus used in Aeromine's cost comparisons. That's a big drop. And unlike open field turbines that can tower above obstacles, rooftop systems are locked in place. They can't climb higher to find cleaner air. In built-up areas, this means that even in windy states like Texas or Kansas, the aero mine may underperform. That makes it a tough sell against increasingly affordable solar panels, especially when those panels can still operate effectively in diffuse light or cloudy conditions. So while the concept shines on paper, it's the rough reality of urban rooftops that clouds its potential. Green steel and greener designs. There is, however, a sustainability edge that shouldn't be overlooked. Unlike towering turbines, Aeromine doesn't require massive steel structures. That's more than a cost advantage. It's a carbon advantage. Steel production is notoriously dirty, accounting for about 7% of global CO2 emissions. But that too may be changing. Enter SSAB, a Swedish company working to revolutionize how steel is made. Their new hybrid technology replaces coal with hydrogen and fossil-free electricity during the steelmaking process. Instead of releasing carbon dioxide, it emits water vapor. And the water isn't wasted, it's reused or bottled under the tongue-in-cheek label, pure waste. This cleaner steel could find its way into future aeromine systems, pushing the sustainability needle even further. As more sectors push toward net-zero goals, every component, right down to the steel bolts, comes under scrutiny. In this race, Aeromine isn't just innovating in wind capture, it's quietly helping reshape the carbon footprint of cleantech hardware itself. And in a future powered by climate consciousness, that might be just as important as raw performance. Where it works and where it doesn't. Aeromine's performance depends entirely on where it's placed. In wide open areas with steady directional wind, 
like factory rooftops or warehouse complexes, it can quietly outperform expectations. With no external blades and minimal noise, it's ideal for sites needing space-efficient and safe wind solutions. But in cities or suburban neighborhoods, the story changes. Rooftops surrounded by buildings and trees suffer from poor airflow and lower wind speeds. Surface roughness becomes a major obstacle. Unlike solar panels that function in diffuse light, AeroMind's success hinges on reliable wind patterns. This doesn't mean it's ineffective, it just means location is everything. The system shines in specific environments and struggles in others. As modeling tools improve and site analysis becomes more precise, its potential reach may grow. For now, AeroMine isn't a universal solution, but it's a powerful tool in the right hands. And in the grand puzzle of clean energy, not every piece fits everywhere. But sometimes, the rare pieces are the ones that make the whole picture work. AeroMine may not be the silver bullet, but it's certainly a striking piece in the clean energy puzzle. Its blend of ancient inspiration and modern engineering is proof that wind power doesn't always need to spin to succeed. While it won't dethrone solar just yet, especially on complex rooftops, its low-profile design and evolving efficiency show real promise. In the right place, it could offer sustainable, silent energy without sacrificing safety or space. If rooftop wind has a future, AeroMine is helping shape it. For more on how we're reimagining power, check out our deep dive into superheated thermal storage next.